Settling down now, hugely important moments here. And Vasulis just turning around just to clear his goggles. Home crowd really being lit up by the uh, stadium announcer. Good crowd in here. That's really encouraging to see for the, the youngsters. Noisy crowd too. Yeah. Getting right behind their team. Plenty of excitement in this part of the world for World Championship Speedway. Here we go then. Heat 22, the grand final qualifier. Who's going to join Poland? Green lights on. Tapes up now. And once it, I'll tell you what, Amber Sulis has made a super start out of gate yeah, number two. Nice He's flown away from there. Here comes Gus now. Gus coming through into third place. That'll do it for Latvia if he can hang on. Gerald running wide there. Certainly very tight. Oh, oh my goodness gracious me. Gus has got it all to do again yeah, now. Gus has... Oh, yeah, he's, he's, come, he's, he's got plenty of speed. I think he's going to really put plenty of pressure now on Emil Broom. He's got a good run out of this corner. Oh, he just can't find the speed. I tell you what, had himself in position. And Sulis is doing a great job up front. And Gus now has no answer for the Danes. They're doing it again. Five points would take them into the final. It would indeed. Gus under pressure. He was the hero in Heat 21. Looking like he might just miss out. A lap to go. And Vasoulis out of gate number two has worked a treat. Yerov there hanging nicely in second place. One last chance for Gus. Switches to the outside. Trying to turn back to the inside to the run to the line. Not going to be enough. Denmark are through. Denmark are through. Latvia, it's a bronze medal for Latvia. They'll be disappointed not to make the final, but nonetheless they pick up a medal. But Denmark have done it again, you see it in the race. They have been super solid with picking up second and thirds, and so it proved in the grand final qualifier. Five points for Denmark. Gerald and Bruin doing the business. Ricard Ambasoulis, a surprise winner, actually, of the grand final qualifier, picks up the win, but Gust, as hard as he tried, just couldn't get amongst the points. Latvia will be so disappointed with that because the yeah. tactics worked. Andrew Sulis off the uh, inside gate, off gate two, did his job. He made the start, he got out in front on the first lap, and that was all he needed to do. But I've gone one better than last year, Chris. They were fourth last year, they're making progress at home, they've picked up a medal, and the crowd are clearly delighted with that. Nicky Pedersen, the decision from the uh, Danish team managers proved to be correct. You can't beat his enthusiasm. No, he loves it, doesn't he? Lives and breathes it. And uh, all credit to him. Denmark in the final, being rock solid this evening. See it once again, Chris. Yeah, Latvia's tactics working a dream here as uh, Ansel Sulis just makes a perfect start. Doesn't panic, creeps around the inside of the track, gets himself in front. At this point, Francis Gus has done the job, but he can't get across uh, the right and red there, Gerald. He just can't do it, and he just runs in wide. And to be fair to uh, Emil Broom, he read it perfectly, crept around the inside, and then Gus try as he might. He looked up the inside for the cutback, he tried around the outside, <laughs> just could not generate the speed. No, unfortunate for uh, Francis Gus, as hard as he tried, overtaking very difficult in there, and the dogged performances from the two Danish riders here. how tight that is. Well, he doesn't get any tighter than that. I thought Gus was going to jump on board there, trying to get <laughs> off his own bike. I desperately want to be in third place. A disappointment for Latvia, although it will be reconciled with the fact that they've picked up a medal at home, and... Uh, the crowd, a warm round of applause for the two gladiators on their celebratory lap. Denmark and Poland then will go head to head in the grand final itself. Henrik Muller and Nicky Pedersen just having a chat about it. Looking like they will go with uh, potentially the same lineup, I would think, for the final. We've got uh, just a few moments now. Track will be left alone for the final now. No more track raiding this evening. Don't think there's any question mark over Poland's tactics. Zemski off the inside gate. Schierneck off the outside. There's no question about that. No, I think the odds are fairly short on that one. So we'll move down to uh, the uh, pit area where we will uh, have the draw for the grand final. 
and the leading team having the first uh, choice is Team Poland and Rafał Dorucki will make a selection. Could you please select uh, your riders and the gate position? Wiktor Przyjemski in red. Wiktor Przyjemski will be starting in red helmet color. Uh, Mateusz Czerniak in blue. And Mateusz Czerniak in blue helmet color. Thank you. No surprise at all there. That's uh, the format that's been working well for them tonight. And next to make a selection is Henrik Miller and Team Denmark. Please select your run, your riders and the gate position. Here yeah, we're going to have Espen Yael on gate two in white. Espen Yael on gate two in uh, white helmet. And, and then we're going to have Jesper Knudsen on the outside in yellow gate four. And Jesper Knudsen uh, in yellow helmet color. Thank you. So Denmark using all three riders in the last two races. Knudsen coming back in for the grand final. He'll go from the outside gate. I'm not sure if he's going to thank Nicky Pedersen and Henrik Müller too much about that, but nonetheless, he's got a chance. And it's the way they've been performing. The luck has been with them on occasion, and they've managed to sneak into second and third to keep their gold medal hopes alive. Poland in the driving seat. They have been a class apart here. Clear favourites coming into this final. Absolutely. With the starts he's been making off the inside, and Schirnak will do whatever it takes to get past. Only overconfidence, I believe, will beat Poland. There's the lineup for you. Viktor Przemyski with the red helmet colour, Maciej Schirnak with the blue helmet colour, Espen Jerold in white, and Jesper oh, Knudsen coming right. into the grand final to replace Przemski Emil Brem in yellow. Uh, Last race Yerio of the so evening to determine who's Zanks, going to be crowned world Zanks, champions Zanks, here in Zanks, Riga. In Speedway of Nations Zanks, in 2023. In white. Mm. DeWalt, uh, FIM Speedway of Nations. Uh, Matthias Schirniak has been sublime. He has been a class apart, has ridden superbly well, hasn't had the best gates, has had to do the hard yards coming through the traffic, but he's made light work of it. He's been stunning at times. Inside, outside, working the bike so well. Can I Roland make it 10 under 21 world team titles on the trot? Well, if what a record that would be. Fabulous record they have at this level. 15 victories already out of 18. 10 in a row, that would be uh, truly uh, superb. Very proud nation, of course. They're a powerhouse of Speedway these days, Poland. Winning the Speedway Cup in Wrocław very recently. The leader in the World Championship, the World Champion in Schmalzlik, of course. So they are totally dominant at World Championship right now, Poland. But can Denmark do something about it? Four laps, I say, only overconfidence. Maybe a little bit of complacency, possibly creeping in. I think it's unlikely. They seem very focused. Denmark were the last team to beat Poland in this competition. It would be it. ironic if they were the ones to do it again. Yeah, they have won it twice, Poland. And, uh, excuse me, not uh, they won it one Denmark. Two times more than that. Yeah, they have. Denmark have Your won maths it. is not good, is it, tonight? Denmark has won it in 2010 and 2013. So um, they will be keen to try and do it again. Of course they will, but nonetheless, a silver medal will be still a fine effort. But Nicky Pedersen, he's a winner. <laughs> As he jogs up to the start position now where they're released, he'll be trying to instill some of that killer instinct that still lives strong in him, doesn't it? Burns <laughs> right yeah. Yeah, yeah. Even in his mid forts it's not diminishing. No, it doesn't. Poland. Pashemski there, the 18-year-old, beginning to make his mark. Highly rated in Poland. A lot of publicity about Viktor Pashemski. Sometimes that can be a negative. But he certainly responded superbly well to keep Kowalski out of the side here in the latter stages. Dubrucki very happy with his pairing. They have worked very well with the fast starting Przemski and Schirniak being able to strut his stuff coming through the traffic. Rennie Schaefer now. Look at Nicky Pedersen, look at the intensity on his face. Well, he, he knows that Denmark have got a chance here. He knows that the, the Danes have beaten the Poles already tonight. By the time the Poles have been beaten. Here we go then, the final time of the evening. Speedway of Nations, two gold medal on the line. The World Championship up for grabs. Poland are the holders. In truth, Poland have pretty much owned this event forever. So the lineup. 
Victor Przemski for Poland in red, Matthias Szyniak for Poland in blue, Espen Jerold for Denmark in white, and Jesper Knudsen coming in to replace Emil Brehm for Denmark in yellow. Interesting to see which way they go here. Will they put Knudsen off gate number two and put Jerold off the outside? We only, a few moments' time will be able to confirm that for you. I think that's the way round I would have them. Right, Knudsen works the inside quite well. The riders up at tapes doing a bit of gardening. Looks like Knudsen's going to go from the outside here. Yeah, it does look like that's the way they've gone. Brzezemski on the inside, no real surprise there. And the Schierniak out of gate number three. Tense times for Raffel de Brocchi. Will he do the double? Looking likely. And his tenure as a team coach for Poland. He was under pressure coming into the Speedway World Cup, got out of that by the skin of his teeth by yeah, a, a stunning move from Matze Janowski late on in the final. But here in Riga tonight, Poland, who have dominated proceedings throughout the event, four laps to go. Who's going to clinch gold? Nicky Pedersen desperate for his team to do it. Still will be a fine effort from his charges. Three new riders coming in. Picking up silver as a minimum, that's still a, a very, very good result. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, uh, you know, we have got the top two teams from the qualifying heats in this grand final, but there's eight points difference between Poland yeah. and Denmark. Here we go then, final time of the night, the grand final to determine who's going to be world champions. Tapes are up. Into the first corner, Poland showed cleanly. Przemski off the inside makes another start. Szyniak there alongside him. They are in dominant form here. They really have been a class apart tonight, Poland. And they are controlling the final out in front. Comfortable out in front. Jarrell back in third place with Nusen out the back. But Poland are set to be world champions again. Szyniak so aware of what's going on on that opening lap. Just uh, looking for his teammate. And they're done, doing a brilliant job, really riding above his years and riding so nicely as well. Just look at him, enjoying himself, hanging off the bike, just backing the so throttle off, down. waiting for his teammate. That's a little bit soul-destroying when you're the other guy in the team, but uh, doing a great job. Into the last lap then, Poland set to be crowned world champions once again. Szyniak absolutely superb out in front. Przemski coming in has done a terrific job as well. One last blast through the world, last corner, and Poland are champions again. Speedway Nations of two Thank world you. champions. Many Thank congratulations you. to them. Oh, Plain yeah. sailing in truth okay. in the final. Denmark just not able to land a blow there. But Szyniak and Przemski have done the business. Szyniak in particular has been so, so good this evening. At one stage there, he almost selected with reverse going down the back straight. He was off the throttle for so long. He just stayed off the throttle for a long while just to uh, close the gap and keep his teammate close to him. But Poland just dominating in every format. At every level, under 21 Speedway of Nations champions yeah. this evening, Speedway World Cup champions, Smarznik leads the Speedway Grand Prix. What a year they're having. They are enjoying a fabulous season of Speedway, that's for sure. Ten in a row for Poland now at under 21 level. Terrific performance from them. Incredible record they have. And Szyniak and Przemski, Kowalski out there as well, enjoying what's just happened as well. Must be a touch disappointing, but nonetheless, it's been a, a fine showing. And who can stop them? They seem to have this conveyor belt of youngsters coming through. They encourage it, they focus on it. Denmark certainly coming to the fore here. They finished fifth last year with 26 points. They pick up silver this year. So much improvement there. So here's the results for you of the final. Poland pick up a maximum score with seven. Matthias Szyniak and uh, Viktor Przemski. Gold for them. Silver medal for Denmark with Espen Jerold and Jesper Knudsen. A team effort from Denmark using all three riders throughout the evening. And all scoring points. So yeah, that's so uh, that's uh, encouraging signs for them. But there was just no holding Poland. So a great moment for them. And they'll be uh, chuffed to bits with this as we see it again. Yeah, Rafał Tabruki, Polish team manager, just bringing the changes in their third heat, bringing 
uh, Przemski in and uh, sticking to the format. Przemski off the inside here in red, just just doing a great job off the off the start once again. You kind of just felt the way he's been starting that. Uh, that cannot go wrong, that format. He has a little look for his teammate, realises that uh, Sheernak has made a very decent start off gate three. Just runs around the inside, stopping anyone creeping around the kerb. There we can see both riders just looking across at each other exactly the same time, working perfectly as a team. The Danes have done a good job all night, just nowhere near as good as the Poles. Absolutely. Dominant performance from Poland. Worthy champions, that's for sure. And they'll celebrate this royally. They maintain that incredibly high standard. And just look at the reaction from Matthias Sieniak. They're clearly delighted with that. And uh, he'll be looking forward to now trying to retain his SGP2 World yeah. Championship, of I course. I forgot to add that to the list, of yes, course. Of course. He's a clear so, leader of that yeah, by he 10 is. points. He's in commanding position with that.